Welcome to the Joy of Music. My name is Diane Bish and I would like to invite you to join us today as we bring you a program entitled A Musical Journey of Austria and Germany with music from great cathedrals and small village churches. Thank you for joining us. Austria and Germany begins in the Alpine city of Innsbruck, the capital of the region of Tyrol. In Innsbruck, Austria, we find two churches with towers seen from far into the countryside. The cathedral or Dome St. Jacob was built in the 18th century and was severely damaged in World War II. Scenes from the life of Christ are seen throughout the church and in the back loft of the cathedral is found a magnificent organ with a rich ornamented gold leaf casework.
Not far from the center of Innsbruck stands the beautiful Viltner Abbey, which is built in the Romanesque style and dates to the 17th century. Of special interest to us on the joy of music are its three organs, two on the sides of the aisle and one larger organ in the rear of the sanctuary.
Our musical journey continues on to Zeefeld, a beautiful alpine village not far from the city of Innsbruck. Since the Roman era, Seefeld was one of the most important towns on the trade route from Italy to Germany. Seafield is not far from Innsbruck and occupies a large plateau between towering mountains. In the 1964 and 1976 Winter Olympics, Seafield was the venue for all the Nordic skiing contests. The local cross-country skiing trails are the longest in the Alps, measuring some 150 miles. One of the most famous chapels in Austria is found in Seefeld, where by the orders of Archduke Leopold V, the chapel was built to house a crucifix. Dating from the 16th century, it is said to have miraculous powers. The crucifix is found within the altarpiece of the small circular building with a Renaissance portal and onion dome.
not far from the Bavarian town of Garmisch Partenkirchen is the colorful Alpine village of Mittenwald, Germany. <laughs> The German writer Goethe described Mittenwald as a living picture book back in 1786. With an area of only three square kilometers, Mittenwald is a place where paths are always short, but these paths are really something. They are colorful with their farmers' gardens snuggling up to houses with their overhanging decorated gables. Narrow lanes lead to the front gardens in which violins, not washing, are hanging out to dry. At every corner, colorful paintings are found on houses and buildings. They recount the rich history and religious feeling of the local residents. <laughs> It is reported by a witness in the 18th century that Mittenwalders were held in high esteem from Petersburg to Constantinople. This was not a reference to the local people or even the ladies, but to the violins that were built here. This reputation is due to Matthias Klotz, who was born the son of a tailor in Mittenwald in 1653. The apprentice violin maker studied in Padua and returned to Mittenwald as a master violin maker to make this art the center for his craft. Klotz's grandchild is said to have made Mozart's concert violin, and his heritage can still be heard in the concert halls of the world, as well as on the streets of Mittenwald. The long heritage of violin making can be found in the Violin Museum, where the violin maker's works are on display. Also of note, the School for Violin Makers has existed in Mittenwald for over 140 years.
My name is Diane Bush, and I would like to thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music on our Alpine Musical Adventure with sights and sounds from Alpine churches and monasteries. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. If you would like to purchase today's program or any program from our library of over 400, please visit our website at dianebishtv.com or call 1-800-933-4844. We look forward to hearing from you.